No breaker is going to get another shot to score some goals this afternoon. With Alexander Barabanov still in COVID protocol, Gregor will skate once again in the top six with Logan Couture and Jonathan Dolan. Gregor has just one goal in 23 games this year. His 1.4 shooting percentage is actually the lowest among all NHL forwards with 70 or more shots. I say he's due. Gregor's been getting a ton of chances and he's got a good shot. I've spoken with a number of NHL scouts who really like Gregor's blend of speed, physicality, and shooting. They've told me he has 20 goal potential. Well, the Sharks could use some of that potential this afternoon versus the Kings. The Sharks have scored just one goal in their last two games. Speaking of Sharks Kings, the longtime rivals appear to be marrying each other once again. Through the early 2010s, Sharks Kings might have been the NHL's fiercest rivalry. Both teams consistently vying for the Stanley Cup. Both have fallen on hard times recently, with the Sharks missing the playoffs the last two years and the Kings missing the last three years. But both are in the thick of the playoff race right now, trying to integrate young players with veterans from the glory days. For the Kings, that's familiar faces like Andre Kopitar, Drew Doughty, Dustin Brown, and Jonathan Quick. For the Sharks, that's Logan Couture, Brent Burns, Tomas Hurdle, and Mark Edward Vlasic. Bob Bugner spoke to this point this morning. There is some similarities there, both teams, what we've gone through in the last uh, uh, couple years. Um, you know, they've uh, they've got some high-end uh, draft picks in the, in the last uh, three, four, five years, and, and I know their minor system is loaded with a bunch of high picks, and they've done a good job. Um, you know, I think uh, a little bit of the difference is, is you know, they're getting a little, uh, maybe a little more offense from their from their bottom part of their lineup, and that's something that we got to address and we got to keep working on. And uh, uh, but you know, they're a well-rounded team. Uh, the young guys are playing well. They're playing a lot, and they're getting good goaltending. And of course, you got your veteran guys like we do that are uh, showing up every night. The Kopitars, the Dowdies, the Browns, and guys like that. So, um, I think there is a lot of similarities. It's been a long time since the Kings and Sharks have played a meaningful game. It's good to be back. Let's hope this is the first of many this year.